We thank you because you're holy and righteous. You're a God of time. You're a God who does miracle things. Hallelujah. We receive your great grace and your great anointing. May touch everyone who is following us. All the plans of a devil to be destroyed. Let your name Jesus to be exalted. Everyone who is watching us may continue to meet your anointing. In Jesus' name, we tie up the demons. We tie the demons. Whatever is fighting to know God to be beaten down at this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to tell you three things. Three things which makes God do a miracle. Everything happens because of a reason. There are three reasons which makes God to do the miracles. The first reason why God has a miracle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He does it so that his name to be glorified in the pagans. So that his name to be glorified. God does something miraculous. There are some people who normally mistake your God. They compare him with their idols. But my God cried for your miracle. So that they be assured with the powers of God don't you pray. And I used to pray but she was still barren one evening she met a God of miracles and removed the name barrenness out of her and made her mother of children most times we end there on Samuel there are very many children there are very many children there are other six children who I am following Samuel. God in heaven is going to come down and manifest. Anna. The miracle Anna wanted was nothing else. She only wanted a miracle to get out of barrenness. When God has come to do a miracle, and He reaches in His people, there is something does for someone and for people to understand it's a miracle. Someone who is not a barren, giving birth is not a miracle. But when a baron gives birth, it's a miracle. Someone who is hungry to get food, it's a miracle. For someone who is blind to see, it's a miracle. Upon that person or on others, it's a miracle. The ones that knew that person that doesn't, doesn't see. The one knew that that person. Let's give the glory to God. May God do your miracles to you who is looking at us in his prayers. God cannot do a miracle to a blind person when the blind people haven't come in the service. God cannot bring the anointing of lame people to start walking yet the lame people are not around there. Today God has released the anointing of your miracle. Let the Satan likes you. He doesn't like it. You have to receive your miracle. You're going to receive your miracle. In Jesus' name. The first reason why God has a miracle. So that his name to be glorified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
The war in the book of Isaiah. Chapter 48. Verse 11. And he's saying, For my sake, I will do it. And there is nothing which will make my name to be abused because of me. Me, I am the Lord. And I'm able to do everything. Me for myself. I'll do for myself. There is nothing will make my name to be abused. God in heaven. He has rescued you. He's going to rescue you. So that his name to be glorified. They know that. They know you always have a Bible. They know you are born again. They know that. They know. They know you are born again. They know. They know you pray to God. He has said he's going to do it for himself. The first reason is so that his name. Hello, hello, hello. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name to be glorified. So that people They know that someone believes in God When someone prays to God God things are supposed to change God will not let you to people Read his word somewhere It is a prophecy It's not a teaching Hallelujah Hallelujah I don't know why you're looking at you're not seeing a direction I don't know what you're praying for And you don't know where they'll come from What I know He has said that In Isaiah Chapter 48 Verse 11 For my sake I'll do it for myself And nothing will make My name To be abused when they abuse you God will come to know you when they despise you God knows it when they take you for granted God comes to know it when they be with you God comes to know it he has said for my sake I felt you. I felt God. I felt God myself. He has talked to you. He has sent me to tell you. He will do for himself. And nothing will make his name to be abused. Give the glory to God. The first one. What makes God do a miracle? So that his name to be obeyed. So that his name to be glorified. Jesus taught his disciples. They asked him to tell them how to pray. He told them when you're praying, say this. Father in heaven. The first one. Your name to be honored. I'm feeling moved. I pray that the Lord you pray may be honored at this time. I pray that my God honor himself in your family. I pray that the powers of God manifest in your life. I pray that my Jesus manifest. Say that our Father, your name to be honored. One day, Prophet Elijah, he saw the prophets of God and he saw the of Asherah and they were praising and they were praying worshipping the idol they were they were worshipping the idol they were the one which was removing believing in God it was making people busy not to worship God Asherah 
It was an idol of fornication. And prophet Elijah. He saw the prophet of Baal, there were many. And the prophet of Asherah were many. They were around 800 and more than. When he looked at himself and looked for other prophets, he couldn't see him. The ones who were worshiping Baal were many. And the ones worshiping Asherah were many. The ones who were following false were many. And try to look at it. People who follow the false are many. People who like the lies and false. But the one who follows the real God are few. Though they are few, they follow a living God. And a God who speaks. A God who works. A God who changes the background. It will be known. In a city, in a subcountry, even at the subcounties, and the whole nation, in the country, people come to know God. Hallelujah! Elijah, he was alone. He looked at them. And he felt jealousy. And he went into their midst. Why don't you get a jealous of God? You get a jealousy. All the people are getting destroyed. Why don't you get a jealousy? Of the, for those power backsliding. Why don't you be jealousy? Just help me and be jealousy to those people who are joking and playing in the work of God. May you help me and be jealousy of those false prophets and see how God is going to manifest in you. Today, I want you to get jealousy. Oh, Elijah. I also. I want in the real I'm standing in my country and the whole world to know the God I trust to know the Lord Jesus and people to know the living God they may know the living God Elijah he got a jealousy and went on the mountain where they were and they were praying and they were at the altar he told them you young ones Move. Listen. Let me declare to you. Baal is a fake God. Hey, they looked at each other. Time has reached that God does a miracle and to challenge the powers of the darkness. What about those people who do not believe the miracles? What's wrong with them? If you don't believe in miracles, you don't believe in God. Time has reached. There is a time God is said to make miracles and start teaching to his children like how he did a miracle at Pharaoh different miracles and he got the Israelites from Egypt and he also got in heaven he might do a miracle and get you from Pharaoh and do miracles and get you from the slavery got to do a miracle and get you from your disgrace to do a miracle and they will test to fear let God do a miracle and they will test to fear let him do a miracle and they beg us to fear in the past some people used to know the born again other people were confused they one who puts on the clothes which are torn and they are poor people that's how they used to know that but that's not true to know God is a wisdom to get out of their sins is also knowledge when you come to understand Lord Jesus and repent your 
sins. Then you become a smart person. You become a unique person. There God will make you look smart. God gives you his goodness. God gives you his honor. Following God is not madness. The Lord is saying that God observed in heaven. So that he may see a wise person who is seeking oh, for God. Hallelujah. God has healed everyone who is suffering from headache who is following me. The sickness of headache is over. Hallelujah. God has paid the debts. This person who is following me and you have a debt. God has paid your debt. In Jesus' name. I feel the grace of God. I feel the powers of God. They are healing someone from the chest cancer. I feel God of miracles. He's manifesting at his hour. In Jesus' name. That thing's going to change. I feel them. Hallelujah. Pralike zola le mai. Hallelujah. Talanga ya mangosoto ozia. Amen. Meli igre le mai. Amen. Uva. Listen. He has said for my sake. I'll do it. The first reason. For those ones to know well. For God to honor you or to give you honor. There he wants people to know. They may know. The words you are moving in in this prayer. It is saying that he did miracles and healed many people. And his story spreaded in the whole of Syria. That is your story which spreaded. People know well that you are confused though you are trying to make yourself look good. They know well. All the things have come that you are already confused though you're smiling around your stories have already spread all over on whatsapp people are talking about you they start sending each other the pictures holding on their on their cheeks and wondering and they're saying this person is bankrupt he's possessed your, your bad stories have spread all over. But God is going to tell you the story. And the tongue which ashamed you. The one which spoke about your defeats. He's going to speak the powers. He's going to speak the God of miracles. There people have received them. I feel them in my spirit. Receive. He has done the him. Receive. The second one. What makes God to do a miracle? Is also so that he can honor the one he anointed. There are some people take the servants of God the way they want. I told you, I told you Paul one time I'd gone somewhere to preach. I got filled with the spirit and started to preach. And one person told another one was still preaching that you have never seen how drunk at next works. I was still a young man and very thin, but I was full of God. And one person told another, Come and see a drunkard person, someone who is drunk, how he is. And that person who said that God brought him to me. And they told him that you have spent nine days when you've separated with your wife.
And I told him that whenever you are asleep, you dream when you are in the graves. And God has, I told him, God has told me you have to get saved today. If you don't do that, the demons will kill you. After finishing talking those words, he knelt down and he rose up his hands and gave the glory to God. And he got saved. The car we were in, people followed it and they were touching it and the people did not want us to leave that place. One time they also invited me in a deliverance crusade. In one of the countries I will not talk about. And they told me to go there to pray for people deliverance. <laughs> I was putting on a very big coat like for someone I'm not going to speak the name. Yeah. That's what happened. When people looked at the coat I was putting on, it was very big whereby you could put like three people who are like my size. Someone who is very thin and putting on a very big large coat. When the ushers looked at me, they thought I'm someone possessed. I've also come to be prayed for. Someone whom they have prepared for the crusade. Bishop I didn't know where the I didn't know I don't know where the bishop was, but people took me to sit behind. That's why they gave me a seat. There were other bishops who were having big stomach, very looking health and big. They made them sit in front. They were sitting in front with a big cross. For me, I was put to sit in the corner behind. And when the bishop came, he said that the servant of God who has come from Rwanda, why have you put him behind? And they say that servant of God is a prophet. He is the one I was telling you, he's called Prophet Cloud. They came to take me in front. Jesus said that when you go into the party, you don't sit in front because they may get you from in front and take you behind. Sit behind so that they come and pick you from behind, take you in front. They got me from behind. They took me to sit in front. I was in great anointing because I was in prayers for the whole year, only eating in the evening hours. I got a microphone. Nanja <laughs> Hallelujah. After singing that song, I thought the fire of spirit has come into me. I started crying in the tongues. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the time I was speaking in the tongues and praying, and their song came to me. Arasaku shirawe shirawe Arasaku shirawe shirawe Arasaku shirawe After singing that song, 
And the anointing started coming in. And people started falling down, demons getting out of them. And the powers of God accepted and started with the bishops who were sitting in front. And they started shaking and getting delivered. And me too, I could close my eyes pretending as if I haven't seen them. Hey, hallelujah. And I started pretending. And the demon started screaming. Because God doesn't see like human beings. And demons started getting out of them. Demons started leaving people. I left that place people were fighting for me and they want to buy for me a good suit may God be glorified the second one which makes God do a miracle there he gives honor to the one he anointed hallelujah, hallelujah. so that he gives the honor to that person in today in the days of today they may know that the Jesus when had gone to rise Lazarus of Bethan the one who was dead when he reached there and he entered in that house at a place of Lazarus they told him I wish you were here he will not be dead he told them I am the way the Hallelujah. and also the life I am the resurrection and the life. The one believes in me though they are dead. They will live again. Jesus is telling them those words. Martha did not understand this well. And they went to the grave. Listen to the prayer which Jesus prayed. He said, Father, I thank you because you always listen to me. When I call upon you, you listen to me. All this I have spoken them so that his people they may know well that you are the one who sent me at that time they are still talking like that so that for people to know they don't know so that they may know that you are the one who sent me for these Jews to know they may know well that you are the one they may know well that you are God they may know well that they are power they may know that there's anointing swallows than other anointing. They may know that. They may know that. For them to know that there is a powerful God. The one who sent me. They may know that. There is a God who spoke to me. They may not mistake me. After speaking those words. That he called Lazarus of Bethany. And he said, Lazarus, get out. The Bible says, the one who was dead, he rose and got out of death. And he saved the life. And he got a new life. He got a new testimony. The one who was dead, I wish he wanted, he would call all the dead people. But he was a dead. Of rising Lazarus today is your day. That's the reason. You are the one 
Ye. following you that's the reason we are the one we are together today it is prayers so that to receive a miracle receive the ability in Jesus name hallelujah amen there is someone God has healed you from the stomach cancer cancer has left you cancer has left cancer Cancer has gone away. In Jesus' name. There is someone looking at me. Your neck has gone the other side. You got paralyzed your neck. And your legs cannot step and stand. Even your hands cannot hold. You're sitting in a bicycle. Of the lame people. I command at this time. I release the mounting at this time. I release the mounting of miracles. I make you stand. Now you stand up and go. Now you stretch your neck. It is going to be possible. They are going to walk. They have happened. In Jesus' name. Now you shout hallelujah. Receive. God has done for your miracle. Continue. Stand up. My God. I see you in Burundi. You are in Burundi. You are in Burundi. You are in Burundi. The, phone of it, eh? the phone you're having is a phone for your family yeah, member. Your person in your family has given to look at the servant of God. Straighten your legs. Straighten your legs. It's possible. It's possible. Start walking. In Jesus' name. I am told that today. Everyone we are together. God has created for a new testimony. God has created for someone testimony. I've heard a Jesus. Has created a miracle for someone. Hey. Hallelujah. God to be glorified. Yes, Jesus called Lazarus of Bethan. Lazarus rose from the dead. They had buried there. It's only Lazarus who rose. He is the only one Jesus called so that we be together in these prayers. Rise in Jesus' name. There's another thing which makes God do a miracle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Their God has it because He wants to remove the disgrace from His people. The disgrace out of His children. God hates the disgrace 100%. When they despise you, God feels bad. They were saying that he made us the heads, not the tiles. Do you know the reason why God said it for it to be a head? And you don't be a tile. It shows that God there honored you. The author of Tham said he was almost making me like God. It was reminding a little bit. When they disgrace you, God feels bad. God feels so bad. He lastly sent Joshua. Joshua chapter 5, verse 9. He told him a great word. And don't go and tell the Israelites. That's where we're going to pray from. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God sent Joshua. And told him a great word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And don't go and tell my children. That today I remove. The disgrace. The one Egyptians put on you. That's why that place is called so. 
nuko imana yavaniyeho abisere gisuzuguriro that's how god removed the disgrace from the israelites ndasenze ngo imana yamahoro ikuvaneho igisuzuguriro i pray that god of peace remove the disgrace out of you ndasenze ngo umwami yesu akuvaneho igisuzuguriro i pray that the lord jesus takes away the disgrace hallelujah hallelujah igisuzuguriro the disgrace It's very bad. You do good things but people don't believe in you. You are a good person but they don't agree with you. You move with people that don't respect you. You find the neighbors are despising you. In your family they take you for granted. Even your servants or the servants are taking you for granted. That's why they call a disgrace. God told Joshua. Tell them to dare remove the disgrace. The other one the Egyptians put on them. When we read in the book of Exodus. Chapter 7 verse, verse The one shows us how Aaron did a miracle. And God used the rod of Aaron in miracles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was together with Moses. Aaron got the rod of Moses put it down and it came out a miracle. God saves his people with a miracle. That's why we're going to call upon God so that he may restore with the miracles and also the signs. Here God sent Moses and Aaron and sent them to He sent them go and tell Pharaoh so that he may release my children. So that he gets them out of slavery. He had prepared them that he will first be stubborn. Then he said I'm going to do miracles which will assure him. I am praying for that God do miracles for you to assure them. I pray for you that Jesus may manifest in your life. I am calling upon the God of miracles in your life. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, for that time, he had already planned the Israelites they will stay in slavery. They already planned that the Israelites they will start to be his slaves. My God in heaven he raised Moses and Aaron and put the mountain of miracles upon them and gave them the miracles. Jesus has given you anointing of miracles the anointing of miracles I feel the anointing of miracles in this week. I feel them in this prayers. And he gave the anointing to Moses and Aaron. The anointing of miracles. And he told them that. Now you go first. And go to Pharaoh. And he did the first miracle. Let's give God a glory. I'm feeling moved. My God, do for your miracle. This evening, the miracle to happen. So that Pharaoh who is fighting you may accept your God. Pharaoh, he thought it was the spirit of sorcerers and the spirit of the witch doctors. The evil spirit which fights knowing God. God decided to rescue you with his miracles. A miracle has happened. Where God burned you from. They'll find you out of there. Where they had tied you from. They're going to find you out of there. Where they had thought. You'll die from there. They'll find you out of there. Where they gave you to eat. 
So that I kill you. They are going to make you look healthy. Hey. Hallelujah. For those evil things they uttered in you. God has turned them into blessings. They said you should not have peace. It has become this the other side. You are going to get peace. They said you keep sick. You will not be sick again. They said don't keep birth. You are going to have children and carry them. I feel the powers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. 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 God in heaven. He has salvat. He has challenged. The powers of Pharaoh. He has used. The miracles. And the symbols. He has manifested. I feel it. I feel God. I feel God. I feel God. I feel the powers. I will shout hallelujah where you are. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen. Look here. He told them go with the miracles. Enter with miracles. The miracles they gave to you. Go and do miracles at Pharaoh. We have a God of miracles. A God who is above other gods. We have a mighty God. He speaks the happen. When he commands they obey him. They entered. They entered with a God of miracles. Tomorrow morning, you're going to move with a God of miracles. Hey! Hallelujah! This year, you're going to be moving with a God of miracles. Receive. In Jesus' name. The Bible says they went to Pharaoh. When they entered there, God told Aaron and said, Now, put down your stick. Let's do a miracle. There's a miracle going to happen. And put his stick down. After throwing it down, and the other, the other stick. Changed it. It changed and Pharaoh got scared. And the stick changed into a snake. And Pharaoh said, Since I was born, I haven't seen such miracles. And he called his wizards. They also put the stick down. They used also their witchcraft and a stick also came into snakes. Time has reached that it may be seen a God who has got the powers which swallows other powers. It's okay though the demons are standing up. When the time of God has reached those Satan comes with another Satan. When the time of God has reached though they put traps of witchcraft on your ways. When the time of God has reached though they start cursing you from one day to another. It won't be possible. There are the witches of that place. There are also these snakes in the sticks. And Pharaoh told them, told Moses that their things are very small. Now you've seen your miracles are very small. What happened here? That the stick of Moses it turned and looked the other small snakes and swallowed them and swallowed them. The powers of miracles from God. 
They are going to destroy whatever is coming from Satan. They are going to destroy all the powers of Satan. The powers of the Lord. They are going to destroy all the witchcraft. The powers of the Lord. They are going to destroy all the disgrace. And the horn, the blood of God. The glory of God is going to swallow all those things they thought they were bigger. That have happened in Jesus' name. Put a hand on your head. Let's join together, we pray. Father, I thank you. You are God of miracles and the symbols. We've read a word and has told us you will be called a miracle and a mighty God. That's Jesus Christ. He is a miracle. He's done called miracles. We preach. Then we tell the word of today. We are standing in. You prepared us and told us that I've called you to do miracles. I pray for this person, do for them a miracle. I pray for their life so that they receive a miracle. The miracles and the symbols. The miracles and the symbols. Miracles and the symbols. And also symbols and miracles which are mighty to come into their lives in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. I feel the anointing of miracles. Hold where you're sick. Where you're feeling sick, hold there. In Jesus' name. Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the Lord. You're working. Every spirit. Every sickness, every curse. Every sin. Jesus to remove them. 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 I feel they are going off. I feel they are going off. I feel they are going off. They are going off. I feel they are going off. I feel they are going off. My friend, be watchful. The God I'm calling has started working. There is some an illness has left you. Coronavirus is leaving you. Coronavirus is leaving you. Cancer is going. Diabetes is going. Receive the victory. Receive healing. In Jesus' name. Hepatite, whatever it is, let it lose you. In Jesus' name. Every name which causes itself sickness. Every kind of disease. I release fire on it in Jesus' name. I remove it. In Jesus' name. Every curse. Every witchcraft. That quick. I burn. I consume. I burn. I consume. I burn. I consume. I consume. I consume. Them. Fire. There is some and the demon has left you when I was praying. You are burning everywhere. You are feeling your legs are paralyzed. The demon is going to lose right now. One, two, three. I burn. Whatever is having you. What was having you. You must get out. In Jesus name someone you're feeling dizzy 
There's someone you're feeling dizzy, you have got no direction. The demon was having his losing. The demon was having his burning. And the demon is getting powerless. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus has rescued someone. Someone, Jesus has rescued your life. In Jesus' name. The garment of disgrace has left your face. I have rested with fire. I burn every stamp, every post of disgrace. What was having you? Every cast of despising which was having you in Jesus' name. Receive. The powers of deliverance, the anointing of healing, the anointing of life has done my things in your life. You're not going to be defeated again. The demons are burnt and they are consumed. They have left your life. In Jesus' name, if you're not to bend, start bending. Start bending. If you not to walk, start walking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you were disgraced, now start getting honored. If you were rejected, start receiving a new hope. The favor of God to come upon you. And the grace of God to be upon you. They have happened. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The powers of God. They are manifesting. The power of Jesus. It's getting seen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God of peace. May continue to bless you. Let me pray for this person who wants to get saved. Repeat, Lord Jesus. Today I've repented. Rub me from the book of death. Write me in the book of the living. I've refused to be a slave of sin. I receive you because it's you who cleanses away the sins. I receive you because it's you who makes miracles. You are the miracle. Come into my life and work in my life. In Jesus' name, they have happened and they are done. There is someone who dreams when you are moving the whole night. You keep moving the whole night. The demon was fighting, he's getting powerless. The demon was fighting, he's burning. In Jesus' name. Today you're going to receive the victory. Today you're receiving the comfort of in Jesus' name. Let me receive people to thank God. Hello. Hello, yes, Shimechane. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen, amen. Yes. Amen, amen. Yes, I want to be a family. Amen. Diego. I pray for you this evening. May God continue to do mighty things. Zalom melatae genema. Hallelujah. Bridi sito o yekuta emenimo. Hallelujah. Um, hallelujah. O we take a love of the money man. The Lord has said, He is your God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallel
There is a building of sin. I see there is a building of a blessing God has given to you. And they have come from the prayers of this evening. They have come from these prayers. The Lord has manifested. He has brought a victory. There is a sacred sickness. God has removed it from the stomach of your wife. When I was praying, I felt the grace of God. I feel the powers of Jesus doing mighty things. I feel the demons that get are losing. God. God in heaven is going to visit you in two days. You're going to see the visitation of God which is so special. You're going to receive the testimonies which is so great from the powers of Jesus. Thank you, Father, you've done good to this family. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Amen. Hello. Hello. Yes, I am Hello. Hello, yes, I am Yes, I am a prophet. Amen. Nasaka will see my Jimmy man, a corner, Naracumene. Nimamoanze, a Kumgi, Mamoanze, America, Nada, Yamai, Yamai, Nimahoya, where I'm an alinti, I will put you to go and send a Guamagara with the Sangani, and the Shima Sanimana, a corner, and a Kumene. Can't be the Saka, Usengere, and a Sanger and Samsadza and Jamadigi Kirikrich and Aguaye, Vada Murodze, and Madigi Kirikrich and Atamid and Edna Shakam for Shabu Sang. In Jesus' name. When I started to pray, I've seen an age of the battle had come into your family. I've seen an angel removing down things about the, the witchcraft. The things which are in your in your or in your doorways on the right hand. There are things of witchcraft you kept on seeing there, like looking something else. And I've seen an angel of God removing that witchcraft. And the powers of the darkness have gone out of that family. For the Lord has said, Don't fear because He's with you. I thank you, mighty God. I thank you've done good to this family. Receive the victory from the Lord Jesus and your brother where he is. The demons will not have powers upon him. Receive victory and receive deliverance. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Christ. You've done good. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bye bye. Let me say bye bye. We love you so much. Muramuzi. Vesi Muramuva.